Hi everyone, today we will learn how to ha handle error with try catch function in R. So try catch function in R is very useful when we have a very long R script and if there's something happen in the middle, for example, the user input the wrong data, R will crash. But with try catch function, we can say that please keep running the rest of this R script even there's an error. Or we want to create a function and it should return certain value despite there is a warning or error. And in here, we will do an exercise with try cache function, for example. Calculate square root of x if uh, the user input, for example, the character instead of a number in here, it should return any value. Or if the user input negative number, it should return uh, any value as well. So let's open our studio, and here's my R studio. So the link to this R script you can find in the video description. And this is the general syntax of try cache function. So here is the normal expression, what we want to do. And if there's an error, what we want to do in here, we should write our code in here. And what we want to do if there's a warning. And finally, what we want to do before quitting the try catch function. So I just copy this general syntax and then for example, square root. So let's say that we want to calculate square root of uh, two. And we print out here message. Um, there is an error. If there's an error, our message, and we should print out also the default message here, E, because we input he, E, so on. And here, there is a warning. And we should print out this warning, W, and here we didn't, we will not do anything. Let's run this command and see control enter. So there's nothing there, so this is not printed out because there's no error. But if I say minus two, control enter, so there is a warning. So in this case, there is a warning. So, and then the warning is NAN produced. Or if this is a character, let's run this there is an error so in this case and the error message is object a is not found so for example when we want to say that x equal to three and we run the whole program or y equal to four and we run the whole program and if there's an error in here there will be nothing executed so this command will be not executed for example, here, just say square root of A. I just run this. Control enter. So let's type X in here. So object X not file because A is this E, uh, there will be an error because R doesn't know what is A. So when there's an error in here, nothing will be executed. It stop right here. But if we use try catch function, Let's run this, control enter. So it's still execute this one. X in R3, Y is four. So if you try cache function, the program will continue work, uh, working if there is an error or warning. And now our square root function, let's say our function here, square root function x so what we want to say x here copy this code paste here so we want to return na if there's an error or also na if there is a warning and do nothing here we can delete this message Okay, now we control enter, and now we have the function square root. Let's run square root of two. 
control enter one square root of let's say a string so there's an error here because we print an error message a and let's say minus two control enter there's a warning and our return value is zero so n a so let's say a is equal to three and if we input this is a character string execute this control enter so the second line execute on so executed a is now a three despite there's an error in here let's say b Control enter and type P in here. P is NA. So thanks for your interest in this video. Please subscribe to get latest update about my videos.